Hey guys, this is Christian. I'm back with the reviews on thisandthat.com. Today I'll be showing you how to replace and upgrade your memory, uh, whether you want to go from 2 gigs to 4 gigs, 4 gigs to 8 gigs, and so forth and so on. So today we're working with a Toshiba laptop, this beautiful unit that you see right in front of you. Uh, let me go ahead and give you the model number. Um, as you, you can always, as you can see here, you can always, you can always find the model number of pretty much every laptop. Uh, this is a Toshiba Satellite L755D-S6, I'm sorry, excuse me, dash S5163. So let's go ahead and get started before you guys fall asleep on me here. Anytime you work on a laptop, whether you're, you know, uh, exchanging the screen or replacing the keyboard or the memory or the hard drive, pretty much any part, that any component, if you want to start working on any laptop, is basically what I'm trying to say, is you always want to remove the battery. So you want to go ahead and snap this guy out. On this model, basically slides out by removing these two tabs right here. Okay, let's go ahead and set this aside. And then, most laptops, the hard drive is located in the corner, as this model shows. And the memory, I'm pretty sure it's, it's stored right here, right in the middle. So I'm going to be using my um, wonderful... Cobalt um, ratcheting screwdriver right here set that I have, which is really wonderful. I actually like it so much. I actually want to uh, back the lows and purchase a second unit because I mean it was only five dollars. It's a twenty-six piece uh, screwdriver set and it works really good. Um, I will be doing a review on the screwdriver set pretty soon here, so let's not get off subject. What'll be what you will need is a uh, small Phillips uh, screwdriver bit. Okay. So you want to go ahead and remove these three these three screws. And let's see. Oops. Yeah, the having the right oops, let's see. You want to remove this one. These are the type of screws that actually stay on the panel. And then you just pop this out. Sometimes you have to wiggle it a little bit to remove that. And then if you're wondering what's in here, this is your Wi-Fi um, adapter and this is your memory. Basically the way you remove the memory on this laptop is you want to move this cable out the way. You see these, uh, they kind of look like metal pins, These these pieces right here. You push them back, you push this one that way and this one this way, and then you will see that your memory module is going to basically snap out. See how that comes up? Okay, so you always want to purchase the correct memory module. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a uh, 4 gig module, which is a uh, PC3, which is DDR3, which is a third generation, and hopefully you guys can see this closely. Um, let's try it here with better lighting. Okay, sorry about that. But basically, this is a four gig, four gig uh, module. It's a basically a DDR3, and which I'm upgrading to an eight gig module here. Okay, this is the new one, and we're gonna be. You, should, you always want to make sure that you see this notch right here at the at the end of the. Um, actually, not at the, toward, almost towards the end. You have to match that with the with the uh, memory module bay so basically you're going to be snapping this back in and then you want to push down you see, did you hear that click okay once that clicks in now if you do not install the memory module on any computer whether it's a tower or a laptop your computer will not power on just so you know so if you ever replace your own memory and you put everything the way back it is, you put the battery back on and hit power and you don't get absolutely nothing. That means you need to snap out the memory and then you need to reseed it, just so you know for your future reference. Okay. And then you want to snap this back in. Let's see. Okay. And then, then you want to put these back on. You don't want to over tighten these. It's not a good idea. You just want to hand tighten them. You don't want to. You don't. You never want to go overboard. 
Oops, Jimmy. Let's see. And voila, there you go. I'm gonna put the battery back on, slide right back in the way it came out, and you are all set. And if you guys enjoyed this video, once again, I just showed you how to upgrade your own memory, which is also called RAM, by the way, on your Toshiba Satellite laptop, model number L755D-S5163. And this is Christian. Um, please like, subscribe, and comment to my video. And if you have any, any type of questions, go ahead and you know drop me a line. Don't Please don't hesitate. Or if you ever want to let me know, did I go too fast for you? Did I go too slow for you? If there's anything you don't understand, I'll be glad to help you out. Um, just go ahead and leave me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you and have a nice day.